this is what you have to ask, right? Would the Padres rather give thirty million dollars, you know, spread thirty million dollars out for this season to Trey Turner or Xander Bogarts, or spread it out to Senga, Drury, and Dom Smith or someone like that to platoon at DH and first base with Drury, right? Because as I said earlier. When you give Bogarts or Turner, you know, thirty million dollars, that is great. That makes your lineup better than any free agent addition would, right? Those two guys, probably. It would be better. It would make your lineup better than any first base guy out there, or make your lineup better than any left fielder out there available on the free agent market. It just would. They're better players, right? Um. But that's one guy, and the Padres, they don't need just one hitter. They need multiple hitters, and they don't just need multiple hitters. They need another starting pitcher, and not just another starting pitcher like Julio Tehran. They need another quality starting pitcher like Kodai Senga, like Chris Bassett, someone like that, at least I think, because we saw what happened in the NLCS when you threw Mike Clevenger out there and he couldn't get an out. When you threw Shamanai out there and he gave up a run in the first inning that he pitched in game four. And I think it was game four, yeah. And then gave up more runs in the second inning. I don't think he should have, he should have even been in that game, in that situation, uh, for a second inning. But that's what happened. They need more starting pitching. If you had a Kodai Senga out there instead of Clevenger, would that series have been pushed back to San Diego? I think the odds are better. Uh, I think there would have been a higher chance of it happening. I think he would have gotten one single out at least. They need starting pitching. So I think it would be smarter for the Padres to spread it around to Senga, to Drury, Dom Smith, or Senga, Profar, and Drury if Profar's market isn't as big as Boris thinks it is going to be uh i'd rather do that and fill multiple holes than go get one big guy who you're spending 200 million dollars on and oh may by the way you didn't just fill all your holes there you filled only one and juan soto might be walking now because you just gave 200 million dollars to a guy to a shortstop when you already had two shortstops you have actually like four shortstops chrono or tatis kim and manny uh and now in a few years, you're looking and you don't have or one of the best hitters we've ever seen on your team, right? It's, it's, it's an interesting question. 